Your son brought a very ugly wife, she looked like a monkey, this is what the women said. After attending her son's wedding, Olga Konstantinovna returned home happy. She was glad to see how delighted the newlyweds were. The woman lived in a small village where news spread quickly, and the next day, Polina, her neighbor, came running with questions, so, how did the wedding go? Who was there? Trying to find out. Polina's son had moved to the city and only came to see her on rare occasions. She bragged about how he got a good job, and what a respected person he is in the city at every opportunity, but for some reason he didn't help her mother much, so she enjoyed interfering in other people's affairs. Were there many people at the wedding? The neighbor was curious. There was no wedding, they just simply signed. Olga Konstantinovna answered. Polina boasted, here, mine had a gorgeous wedding in the best restaurant, it is once for a lifetime. You haven't even been to his wedding and your Valera is already divorced. Olga Konstantinovna shook her head. This irritated the neighbor, who went silent. Polina's son fled to the city from the army and was engaged in resale somewhere in the markets, while Olga Konstantinovna's son served as an urgent sailor and then stayed for five years under a contract. Olga Konstantinovna, on the other hand, was simply proud of her son and did not brag or condemn others. What does your daughter-in-law do for a living? How did they meet? Is she beautiful? Polina continued to pester her with questions. She is an ordinary girl who works as a nurse on the ship where they met. Polina concluded, certainly not for long. He misses women at sea, so he chose someone who was more convenient here. Stop wagging your tongue, Olga Konstantinovna shook her head. You always have bad predictions, what's wrong with the meeting at work? Would it be better to meet in a bar? Sergi will not marry out of boredom. As time passed, Sergi's contract was over and he and his wife returned to the village. He now desired to have a happy family life. The mother was gladly waiting for the arrival of her son and daughter-in-law, whom she adored. She ran joyfully around the shops buying food to set the festive table. Polina was envious and asked for a visit, but Olga Konstantinovna asked her to wait. Give the children a rest from the road, they spend the entire day on the train, you think it is interesting for them to watch you. Polina came to their house in the evening, despite her friend's disapproval. I wanted to make pancakes, but the flour was over, Polina lied, and went into the house herself. Aunt Polina come in, Sergei invited her, eat mom's pies with us, and I'll introduce you to my Medina, she pricked up her ears upon hearing the name of the girl, entering immediately to see Sergei's wife. The girl was not just ordinary, as Olga Konstantinovna said, but worse than one could imagine. She was clearly deprived of beauty, unattractive, short in stature despite the fact that Sergei was a handsome man and above average height, and she had a large scar on her face. Polina didn't say anything, she just glanced at her friend, otherwise, as if nothing had happened. Olga Konstantinovna was just glad to her children. After arriving home, the young people immediately started looking for work, Sergei got a job as a mechanic on a farm, Medina got a job as a paramedic, since the medical staff is always in demand, particularly in government institutions. Young people prefer to seek higher paying jobs in large cities with more opportunities, but the young couple chose to remain in Sergei's hometown. Their house is a quiet place, they are both hardworking, and accustomed to the land. On a day, Olga Konstantinovna was standing in a store in line, Polina came up to her and began whispering. Is it possible that your son marries that woman? She is so ugly, she is nothing more than a monkey, and she will give birth to ugly children too. Consider it, and tell your son to find another one before it is too late, Polina advised. What nonsense. They swore allegiance to God, why would they quit if everything is fine? You can only see what is outside, Olga Konstantinovna calmly replied, and I will not pick up your thoughts, she said, they love each other and that is the most important thing. Despite her repulsive appearance, Medina quickly gained the trust of the villagers, she was intelligent and knew her job well, even Polina made it to her appointment, surprisingly, she was cured of her back, the pills were properly prescribed, however, the neighbor did not believe in Medina's honesty, she believed that any doctor could just as well have helped. Medina was flexible, and always listened to her husband, and treated her mother-in-law with respect. Behind the character, the old woman did not notice the appearance of her daughter-in-law. Some people glow from the inside out, and their flaws in appearance are not noticed. Medina was such a person, she did not refuse to help anyone, and she loved her husband and took care of him, Sergei was also happy with his wife, he is a real man, a defender, 
and did not care about what people think about his wife. A disaster struck the village in the middle of a working day, a bathhouse was on fire, and it was not far from the hospital, Medina, seeing the fire, dropped everything and ran to help, many people had gathered around and were standing with their mouths open. They began yelling that a small girl had been left in the bath. Hearing about the child, Medina shoved the onlookers aside and jumped into the fire. People gasped, and someone warned her that it was risky and that she should wait for the firefighters. Medina jumped out of the fire, holding a little girl in her arms, and the old wooden bathhouse began to crumble with a crash, the fire quickly extinguished, and the firemen would not have waited. The little girl would have perished if they had not rescued her in time. In the evening, Medina was sitting in the house of a rescued girl, a five-year-old baby only breathed a little smoke but did not suffer. Medina, as a paramedic, came to visit her, and the family invited her to stay for tea. The parents thanked the girl for saving her and wondered how she was not afraid to go into the fire. Medina replied, I was also pulled out of the fire as a little girl. Fortunately, your baby was unharmed, and the girl told them about how she almost died during the war in 1995 near Grozny, when no one wanted the war, ordinary people defended their homes, and the military searched for militants. There were fighting actions, and both military and civilians died. She was alone in the house during one of the shellings, the militants were hiding in the village, they either retreated or occupied the village again, and the villagers were caught in the crossfire. And at some point, a Russian soldier noticed a girl in the burning house and rushed to save her, he carried me out of the house at the cost of his life. The girl shared her memories, I didn't know what to expect from this man, but then I saw his eyes in military uniform, we were all afraid of war, we believed that both sided were wrong. Medina gave a sad smile. The soldier carried me out and handed me over to my mother, remembering those difficult days, but he inhaled smoke and did not survive, so he passed it to me at the last moment, which has been my talisman since then. The girl showed a chain with a pendant around her neck. Ivan Mihailovich the rescued girl's grandfather coughed and took hold of his heart, Medina jumped up to the old man trying to help him, Ivan Mihailovich said everything well. What happened then? He asked. When the militants eventually occupied our village, we hid the soldier's body and secretly buried him in our cemetery in the evening, she said. Have you got these scars on your face after that? A girl asked. Medina confirmed this with a nod. You are beautiful anyway, little girl assured her. And you don't know anything about this soldier? The girl's mother asked. He didn't have any documents and we didn't know anything about him, I think the man's colleagues never found out what happened to him. With a trembling hand, Ivan Mihailovich stretched out the pendant with the soldier's name engraved on it. Vyacheslav was his name, silence reigned in the house, and the girl's parents looked at her grandfather with sympathy. The old man realized whom they were talking about, it was his son to whom he had given the pendant before leaving for the service. And by chance, after so many years, he learned the bitter truth. Medina took off the chain and handed it to her grandfather, Ivan Mihailovich squeezed Medina's hand with the chain and said, No, no, let it remain with you. He asked Medina to show her his son's grave, saying, His mother had already met him in heaven, and I would only visit his grave before I died, tears streaming down the grandfather's cheeks. Medina later drove Ivan Mihailovich to the cemetery, where he was able to lay flowers. This grandfather's son died saving a young girl who, inspired by the unknown soldier's bravery, decided to devote her life to helping others. She will repay her rescuer by performing the same brave act that saved his sister's daughter a generation later. Nothing happens by chance in life, everything has its own divine providence, everyone comes into this world with a specific purpose, everyone comes into this world with a specific duty, everyone goes further thanks to people who see his soul in a person. Despite her disfigured face, Medina discovered her feminine happiness and devoted her life to medicine in order to help others.